Can you see it okay? Yep, there's lots of strawberries. Okay, hi everyone, it's Sherry. We're out in the garden and it's about to rain again. I have not gotten anything done in this garden. It keeps raining and flooding. I swear we're in April, not June. But anyway, so I'm out here dealing with the strawberries because they're all getting baby strawberries on them. See, so what you need to do is, well, I have a major problem with violets. And come over here for a minute. You'll be able to see. It's ridiculous. If you look carefully, you can see the strawberry leaves. Some strawberry leaves, strawberry leaves. And violets. I have so many violets in here. They're, they drive me nuts. They're really pretty when there's nothing else up. All the purple flowers. But they do they really crowd out other plants and I'll show you why. And you got to get down to the base and got to get them out of here because but the biggest problem is, is look at how closely they'll grow. They'll go right in and you can't tell unless you look very carefully. The strawberry has a little bit of fuzz on it and a little bit of red. Okay. The violet does not but it is right in there under that strawberry root so it is a real pain but you've got to get not just the stem but there's this whatever you want to call it rhizome I don't know what you will call it but violet root must come out and it, look at this you can see it it's gone right in under the strawberry and you gotta get that out of there Otherwise, it will just continue to push out the strawberry. Luckily, strawberries are pretty tough, and they're right at the surface, so it doesn't hurt them, even if you pull them out like that. And then you just stick the strawberry back in another spot, because you don't want to stick it there. It's too close anyway. And I'll just bury that, but it gives me room to get that one out of there, too. And look at just totally there see that you got to get it all out or they if you only get the le the stem out this just continues to grow and spread and clump and push out everything <coughs> but this strawberry will be fine and we'll just stick the other one in the spare spot here oops i have so many strawberries and constantly pulling them out and giving them away Spread and spread. So then, you have to get your whole bed weeded. Well, let me stick this one back in the ground. Just anywhere. <sighs> nice soil. Lots of composting. Stick that in and not too deep because you want to have it right near the surface. That's how a strawberry grows. Near the surface. Don't plant it above this. This should be ground level. Even a little above is fine. Don't want them below. There, it'll be totally fine. Now, if you get everything out, you want to take some straw and stick it in between the plants. That way, it will keep down the weeds and the bugs, slugs, whatever. And it'll also keep your strawberries as they develop off the ground and out of the mud. So, this is what you do to your strawberry plants. Violet's out of here. Is that why they're called strawberry plants? No, that one I can't replant. <coughs> that one. That one's a buster toy. Right. Buster! Oh, there's an eddy. Ugh! Get your straw in here in between your plants and it'll help keep the uh, base of the plant moist and this is just much better for them when they start to develop but it's already raining this weather we've had has just been crazy it's hard to get anything done in the garden keep having flooding so, I'm just going to continue weeding, putting my straw in between my plants, and it'll help keep down the weeds, too. 
keep them moist. And like I said, keep your strawberries out of the mud. So, that's it. And I'm going to be planting my papayas over in the garden. And I think maybe today I'll try and get to that if it doesn't continue to rain. So, but that's it. Not much to it other than trying to get all these weeds out and being bitten by mosquitoes. All right, well, thanks for watching.